folks, Miss Monkey 88 here. Uh, this video came to me quite suddenly and demanded to be written. Plus, I really wanted to get you something good out before October, which, for those that don't know yet, uh, early October, part four of the Mafia Dun Don Sun will be released, including all new and original artwork for Ezio. Uh, for those that are not familiar with the Mafia Don Sun uh, series, I would recommend going back and giving those a listen along with some of my other older material, you know, for those that are new. And what do you say we get into this video, hmm? Oh good, you are waking up. I was concerned that bastard had caused some kind of internal injury or something with how long you've been out. How was your head? Do you remember who I am? Prince Valerian. Younger brother of your betrothed. Crown Prince Orphelius. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. He's not here. We're not in the palace anymore. He's not going to get the chance to hurt you again. I'm done being quiet. And just sitting by while that rat bastard does as he pleases with you. I just... I can't. Yeah, I know. Orphelius is a good liar. I only just found out exactly what kind of a depraved monster he really is just before he conned your father into betrothing you to him. And then when you came to the palace I was afraid. And I am heartbroken to see my fears validated. To see he would visit his cruelty on his betrothed as well worthless brute. Where are we? It's a hunting cabin that belonged to our maternal great-grandfather. I'm not concerned about Orphelius finding us, though. As you know, he despises hunting, and he's never taken an interest in anything belonging to our mother's family. Too common. He'd rather strut around like an overfluffed peacock at court and abuse his power than actually get his hands dirty with anything resembling a sport. No, I highly doubt we'll be discovered by the time anyone thinks to search for us here. We'll be long gone before that. No. I'm so sorry, but neither of us will ever be able to go back home again. Orphelius will visit terrible wrath upon us for daring to escape his clutches. And I doubt you want your old life back so much that you'd go back to my monster of a brother. Right? I didn't think so. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you on our journey to the province of Falona. And once we're there, we'll get ourselves established, and after that, you can do whatever you wish with your new freedom. Eh? You... you do not have any desire to leave my side. I don't understand. Don't you want to create a life for yourself? You want a life with me? Are you saying that you that you love me or something? I I'm confused. I see. So it was me you wanted to betrothal with all along. And Orphelius, he intercepted the proposition and bullied your father into betrothing you to him instead of me. Why 
didn't you ever tell me? You were afraid Orphelius might harm me if he knew. <sighs> yeah, he might have. He really doesn't handle jealousy very well. If you had uh, told me and he knew I knew, he'd probably try to get rid of me. Brother or no. You were planning to just suffer quietly in order to protect me? I... I never knew you felt that way. I wish I had, because truth be known, I've always liked you too. Ever since your family intended that festival held in honor of Orphelius' 18th birthday, I was besotted with you. You were so beautiful laughing and smiling as you went about with your guards playing all the games, the sun shining on your hair. I was in love, and Orphelius knew it too. He never could let anyone just be happy. <clears throat> so I, um... I, I don't know what to do with this new information. I never dreamed that you might actually have liked me back. I, I mean, I get why you had to keep it hidden. I probably would have done the same if our situations were reversed. I would have cared more for your safety than my own happiness. But now, once we escape to Falorna... We are beyond my brother's power. We will be free to live our lives as we wish. But, please tell me honestly, what do you want out of your life? I will do everything possible to see it done. You deserve some kind of happily ever after, given everything you are having to leave behind. Tell me. What is it your heart desires most, but never thought you could have in your position as royalty? You like to sew? Oh. You used to make lots of clothes for the local orphanage. That's... That's beautiful. And so kind. It doesn't shock me to hear you do something so selfless and wonderful. Orphelius never deserved you. Very well, then. We will get you your very own dress shop in Farlona. I have a friend there, a merchant. He's offered me a job as his partner. So I can even perhaps get you some of the best materials before anyone else sees them. There is one more thing. Tell me, anything at all. You, you want to marry me like you had always wanted from the start of this mess. I, I want that too. But not on the run. We'll get married in Falona. We'll arrange for a beautiful wedding ceremony. <laughs> Who knew that in the midst of such peril, there could also be happiness? And I am so very happy. I really do love you. It makes my heart feel ready to burst, finally being able to tell you that. want me to kiss you. Are you sure you are ready for that? Wouldn't this be your first kiss? I'd rather plan a romantic evening for you before
for taking something so memorable as a first kiss. But it's... it's true. It, it will likely be a good two weeks before we're able to really do anything super special. And I, I really do want to kiss you. I just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I didn't expect you to go and kiss me all on your own. You really do excite me, you know that? So I was taking too long, huh? Well, I guess I will have to do well not to keep my wife to be waiting for too long in the future when she wishes to be loved. However, I will insist we wait to have intimate relations until we are properly wed. I love and respect you too much to give you anything less than to honor you as you deserve. I am glad you agree. Now, I hunted a deer while you were still out. I've had the meat roasting. It, it should be done by now. Are you hungry? <laughs> Famished, huh? Well, there is plenty. Get up slowly, not too fast. And we'll sit down to some dinner, and then I'll show you to a guest room where you can sleep. <laughs> of course we're sleeping separately. It would be inappropriate to have a man in your bed before we are married. You don't care. You just want to have me near after having to bottle up your love for so long. Well, all right then. But just to sleep, all right? Good. Anyway, come on. Let's go eat. <sighs> we have a busy day ahead of us. Lots of ground to cover. Don't be scared, though. We'll make it through this. And at the end, it'll be the beginning bright and beautiful future for us. I hope everyone enjoyed meeting Prince Valerian. He's so brave and noble, isn't he? I really liked him as I was writing the script. Anyway, um, if folks would like to interact more with me, perhaps even join in on games with me and my husband, such as the game Among Us, which we are really enjoying right now. Or you want to hang out with other viewers, you can find the link to my Discord in the video description. Plus, I often leave updates, announcements, and other things on the Discord too. Um, if you would like to donate and help support me financially, which also does help to free up more of my time and just kind of take a little bit of stress off of me, uh, letting me focus more on my work. While I do not require it in any way, it does really help. However much or little, a blessing is a blessing and not to be dismissively sniffed at. I wish you all a beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye everyone!